It was a well-kept secret, astonishing in the news business. The National will have four hosts based in three cities, Ian Henneman Singh and Adrian Arsenault in Toronto, with Rosemary Barton in Ottawa and Andrew Chang in Vancouver. That title, host of the National, is about to mean something very different than it's meant in our lifetimes. That's because the National itself will be changing, evolving, the CBC says, to adjust to an era where people are getting news all day in all sorts of ways. We have to come up with a better way to serve this country journalistically, um, to keep up with all those changes. And we're trying something different here. That means something other than a steady stream of two-minute long reports. It's expected that on any given night, the news might include chunks of raw video, emotional interviews, graphics, or all of those things and more. It's not the traditional newscast. Um, we, we are being careful to, to retain enough of it being a newscast to not alienate audiences who value what we do. To be um, distinctive and to be different, uh, I think it, it, it's hard to do. This journalism professor says the CBC can't and shouldn't stand still, but also has to be careful. When you move away from what you've been doing for a long period of time, there are risks that, uh, that your audience won't follow you. For the four hosts, roles and locations will shift as the news requires. Rallying the Rosemary Barton expects to be covering politics and issues with her usual style, but from more places. I am still going to be allowed to laugh loudly, uh, crack jokes, uh, be tough, uh, tease Adrian, or more likely Ian, uh, as much as I need to do. See, I, I Andrew Chang is expected to be a big part of the push to include yeah, more live updates on stories as they break and develop. Is it the hottest seat? I mean, it's, it's a hot seat. I'll, I'll give you that much. There's much more to come before anyone will have a complete picture of the new national. Viewers will be able to see it when it launches in early November. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.